Hi, I'm Dr. Sonia Ahmed, and I'm the first author on this paper. I am a clinical psychologist in private practice, and I also am a postdoctoral research fellow at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center. This paper came out of an ongoing program of research looking at the benefit of systemic constructivist couples therapy for couples who are distressed and systemic constructivist couples therapy was developed by Dr. David Reed who is the second author on this paper. Uh, this paper was the first application of systemic constructivist couples therapy with couples of South Asian background residing here in Toronto, Canada. Uh, Dr. Reed is going to talk about his uh, research with systemic constructivist couples therapy and then I am going to tell you more about the application of systemic constructivist couples therapy with the South Asian couples. <laughs> Hi there, I'm David Reed, I'm a psychologist at York University and I'm pleased to follow up on uh, the research being done by Sonia Ahmed. My, pos my position here is to be able to explain a little bit about the therapy so you better appreciate how we brought in culture into this research. The research that we're pursuing started over 15 years ago and initially was basic research looking at the dynamics of distressed couples' relationships. So for many years of very careful examination as we studied that, we started to realize that our method of studying the couples was, could also be turned into helping the couples function much better. So in this way, this is very different therapy than the usual kind. One of the ideas that we came across with working with many couples is that often the presenting issues they present with aren't the real issue. What it is is the quality of the relationship that they have and that those things that they argue about sex or finances or in-laws and so forth reflect the difficulty of the relationship. So the theory here is that we will work with them in order to change the relationship so they themselves can better uh, solve their own problems going forward. I, I'm going to give you a series of principles, so listen carefully because they go quickly. One principle is in how to change an individual or a couple or a family is you always work within the system. So what we need to do is to figure out how to work within the system of the relationship. In order to do that, the couples came in informed that what they would do is learn to study themselves as a relationship, and I and one of my graduate students uh, would work along with them. We were honoring the fact that the relationship, they were expert at that, but what we were coming extra good at was studying how to facilitate their study in themselves. We call it systemic constructive couples therapy. The systemic has to do with the interpersonal processes. The constructivist is the interpsychic process going on with each partner. Another principle, which is key here, is that words are a product of thought and feeling, and as we turned out, values such as culture. By working with partners' thoughts and feelings, studying their relationship, what they learn to do are the following four components. They build on what they think they know, because that's their default, that's what they use. The process of their learning more about what they know, they suddenly realize that each other has a little bit of different take, and they start learning each other's uh, view, and that new knowledge about themselves is taken over. They use that information to make sense of themselves, and not only themselves as individuals, but implicitly they're starting to learn more about themselves as a relationship. It's at that point we start seeing them developing an identification with relationship, which the buzzword for is a sense of weeness, but it comes out in their language. After they've got that kind of knowledge, they will then enter into a stage of undertaking various experiments, and we've learned a number of techniques to help them experiment with their relationship. The key element here for this couple is that they will bring in their background and importantly their culture. That's their belief systems, their traditions, their norms. These are automatically brought into the therapy so it's very natural for them. And from that basis, I will now turn you back to Sonia so she can explain the study. Hi, I'm going to now talk about the application of uh, systemic constructive couples therapy or SCCT with South Asian couples. Uh, in designing this study and running it, one consideration was that for South Asians, a cultural given is that when there are problems in the marriage, they should not consult with anyone outside their family. And there is also a concern that psychotherapy would counter some of their cultural beliefs as it's something that came out of a Western tradition. 
Therefore, we needed to look very closely at what we were doing to make sure that it was comfortable and consistent for the South Asian community. Now, one of the dilemmas we had in developing a culturally competent intervention was that on the one hand, culture refers to a common set of values and beliefs to a particular group of people, yet at the same time, we know that every couple is unique and we didn't want our approach to stereotype a couple. In fact, while running the study, couples that referred themselves to our program because we were focusing on South Asians uh, told us that culture was important to them and that's why they were coming to see us, but they also felt that they were also concerned that we might be imposing South Asian ideas and practices on them because they said that we will soon realize as we get to know them that they are not your typical South Asian. In many ways, couples see themselves as unique, even as they identify with being South Asian. This required a refinement in our approach with each couple to engage their sense of how they are South Asian as a couple. Therefore, in the first two hours long session, we made a point of fully eliciting from the two partners a description of themselves in terms of what they know about each other as a relationship and inclusive of their presenting problems. What they know is the information they use while they relate to each other. We then inform them that they will be participating in an exploration of the relationship and that they will discover more about each other and the relationship than they did before. And because they will be learning new information, they will start to find themselves starting to change how they relate to each other in order to be consistent with what they are realizing together of who they are as a couple. So in other words, the couple is deepening their understanding of each other and how they make their relationship. We also suggest to them that as they gain knowledge, they will experiment with techniques we give them to expand their knowing and to further reify their understanding. The core change mechanism of SECT is that the greater identification with one's relationship, termed couple identity or weenus, the more adjusted a couple is. This couple identity is best assessed by coding their words because as Dr. Reed said earlier, words are a product of thinking, feeling, and values. And that is where culture comes into the relationship. In this study, we found that increasing South Asian couples' couple identity from first to final session mediated an increase in their relationship adjustment. When we looked at the content of the first and final session, we found that the issues discussed were very much cultural, they reflected their attempts at trying to fit in with their North American context, yet also maintain consistency with their cultural values of being South Asian. Issues brought forward in the first session, when revisited in the final session, were now being discussed in terms of a we and us, for basically from a relational perspective. So as an example, couples in our sample often said that the problems in their marriage were related to or entirely a result of the intrusiveness from their in-laws and they were unsure how they could even change their family's behavior. Now this is a very common issue for South Asian couples because being a couple and also maintaining very strong ties with their respective families, um, even sometimes living with them in a joint family was very important. And one of the ways the problems with in-laws appear to change was that couples started to see how functioning more as a we uh, or a unit alleviated the negative impact of their family on their relationship. So in other words, the better the relationship is functioning, the easier it is for them to deal with the various issues that they have to deal with and come to face to face with. Now the presenting problems are solved or dissolved once the relationship is happier and functioning better. So in summary, the value of SECT is that principles of cultural competence can be applied with couples, such as what we found with the South Asian couples and we can work with the culture values that couples bring to therapy. And when we do this, we learn more about the culture of the couple alongside actually helping them as well.